Hello people, it's been a while, but here we are in my kitchen, and um, I've just finished all of the uh, ele electronics for the gun, the semi-auto hybrid, and um, everything is fine and dandy, except for one little problem, which is here. But uh, if, other than that, all is good. So, here, check it out. Um, this little two cell lipo, uh, 7.4 volts, powers everything. And uh, so we have the 5 volt regulator for the uh, mini uh, microcontroller, the AT Tiny. We have our two main power switches, one for the um, one for the piston, the, uh, the solenoid which makes the piston go back and forth. And the other one is so uh, for the high voltage ignition, which is all embedded in the stock over here, which is all not pretty, but you know. So yeah, so this thing runs on 24 volts, or else the solenoid won't uh, won't go off at all. So um, I had to make this little printed circuit board. As you can see, I uh, used got to use acid and stuff, which is fun. So, and, uh, yeah, that makes the 7.7 .7 average voltage of the LiPo and turns that into 24 volts for the solenoid to work with. And that's all controlled by these two power transistors, MOSFETs, actually. Here, I'll just turn it on right here. And you can hear it sounds like the, uh, tail blinkers of a car. That would be the solenoid inside of the, uh, the four-way, I mean, yeah, the four-way valve. Isn't that cool? So, yeah. Obviously, that would all be controlled by these little switches, which my camera doesn't want to focus on. But those uh, will be connected to the switches, which will be about the gun, including, like, the safety and a bunch of other switches telling the gun what to do. So it's more of a robot than a gun, really. But as you can see... All is good. However, uh, the problem I speak of, um, well, I'll show you that. Let me just solder everything together, and we'll be set. This is the problem I have been speaking about. So, I rerouted the power MOSFET to feed power, the 5 volts, into this little 3 volt relay. And no, that's not a problem, uh, even though it's a 2 volt difference. So, I have the uh, protection diode here. And I went the extra mile and put two protection diodes, one here and one here. So that should um, protect everything, um, the goods on this circuit. But for some reason, it doesn't like to work. So remember, the uh, program I have running right here is 500 or half a second on and half a second off, and it doesn't like doing that. What? <laughs> Well, obviously, right when I say it's not going to work, it's somehow working now. Um, never really found out what the problem was, but you know what? I don't care. I'll take that. Since everything appears to be working, I uh, went ahead and reflashed the board to the, um, to the program I'll actually be using on the gun. And here I am just going about shorting out the context where the switches would be soldered to. And so, first step, switch two, I have them labeled there. Uh, the piston should go forward. Oh, cool. All right, so there that thing, there that goes. And um, now, next step would be just assuring that the piston is in the forward position. And that is switch five, I think, yeah. Switch five, there we go. And that just doesn't do anything except send an internal electronic signal. So nothing will happen. And now, Upon pressing the trigger, what should happen is both this should stay on and the high voltage, which is right there, should activate. So let's about I'm about to do that. And there we go. Cool. That works great. There we go. Now it should all turn off when I press switch four. Let's check. Great, let's see if it does it again.